Hello, in this video, we're going to find a one-sided limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of the natural log of the sine of x. Go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So there's no real way to algebraically do this problem that, that I know of. So we just have to basically think about it and write down the answer. So x is approaching zero from the right, we have that. And we have the natural log of the sine of x. So let's start by looking at the graph of sine x. Here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. And sine x goes through the origin. So zero, zero is a point on the graph of sine x. That's a wave function, it looks like this. And it repeats forever. It's periodic, because it keeps repeating forever. Every two pi, uh, it repeats. It's called the period. So x is approaching zero. So what's happening to this graph? Well, if x approaches zero from the right, that's indicated here in red, the y values here are positive, right? Sine is approaching zero as well. So sine is the y value, right? This is y equals sine x. So the y values are approaching zero and they're positive. So we have small positive y values approaching zero. Now let's think about the graph of ln. Here's the y-axis, y-axis, x-axis. And let's look at the graph of ln x. Graph of ln x has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, and it passes through the ordered pair one comma zero like this. Now let's go back to this picture. X is approaching zero from the right, so that means the y values, which are the sine values, the values of sine, the sine function is also approaching zero, so it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. That's basically our x value here, right? It's our argument. This is called the argument. We have the natural log of something that is approaching zero from the right in some sense, right? Because it's positive and it's getting close to zero. Well, if you look at the graph of ln, what happens when you approach zero from the right? Well, it approaches negative infinity. The answer is negative infinity. Let me explain that one more time. X is approaching zero from the right. So if you look at the graph of the sine function, sine x is also approaching zero, and it's approaching from positive numbers. So in some sense, sine x is approaching zero, and it's approaching zero from the right in some sense, right? So it's only, you have lots of positive values that are getting infinitely close to zero. If you look at the limit, you basically have the natural log of something that is approaching zero, and it's approaching from positive values, so from the right. Now look at the graph. Well, it's indicated here in red. It's approaching zero from the right, and so the y values are approaching negative infinity, and that is the answer. So a lot to say, I really hope it made sense. Um, it's, 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 it's easy when you get it, when you don't get it, it's really tough, but hopefully, hopefully this has made some sense and hopefully it's helped you and hopefully it's helped someone in the world. Anyways, until next time, good luck and take care.